Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the OS Academy. While browsing through the user comments, I noticed a few requests on how I capture OS and what programs that we use for these videos. So today, I figured we'd go over the basics of how to capture and stream to your favorite streaming sites like Twitch or Livestream. So let's get started. First, you'll need a streaming software. The one we're going to go over today is called the Open Broadcasting Software, shortened to OBS. This program can be found at the obsproject.com. It is a free open source software and as such it does receive updates frequently. So make sure to keep your copy up to date. Once OBS has been installed, you'll be brought to the main menu of OBS. From here, you'll need to click on the settings button next to the streaming and recording buttons. In the settings, click on the video section. Here you'll be able to control the base resolution or if the program downscales your basic resolution. This option is good to remember when streaming with low bandwidth or a low-end computer, but we'll get into that in more detail once we reach the online streaming portion of the video. You can also adjust the active window size that shows what you record. You can also add a scene from here as well. Scenes are windows with preset sizes made so that you can easily swap between them. This is a bit more advanced and most will only use one window when capturing OSU. If you play windowed mode and you don't wish to play in full screen, to make sure that OS is the only thing recorded on the entire screen, you need to adjust the software's capture box. To do this, click on the sources box and select add, then monitor capture. Once added, right click on it and go to properties to select a subregion of your screen. Clicking the select region button will allow you to drag a box over the windowed OS screen. Once you have everything you want in the screen, hit OK and you're ready to capture OS. With OBS, you can stream to your favorite sites, but if you want to be able to edit or just adjust your recording, saving it into a media format will be your best bet. To record media output, you will need to go into the settings, click on the broadcast settings, and change the mode to file output only. This will make OBS just capture your screen and save it into an MP4 format. You will also need to adjust the bit rates as well. Even when making a save file, a bit rate is the number of bits per second and that can be transmitted along a digital network. This also means the higher the bit rate, the better the quality. But after so much, it really tends to get pointless. So for decent HD, I use an MP4 at 1080p at about 10 megabits per second, with a variable bit rate that peaks to about 10 megabits per second. But if we're being honest, I bet I could cut this down a bit more. To adjust the bitrate, you'll need to go to the encoding option in the settings. From there, you will see a list of options. For the best OST recordings, I will leave the quality balance at 10. You could also adjust the audio bitrate and other things you like as well. Once that's all set and done, you will need to create some start and stop hotkeys for recording that can be done in the broadcast settings. That should be all you need to know about recording with the open broadcast software. I know most of you will really enjoy this feature of OBS, as I have. OBS allows you to stream HD quality right to Twitch or to other stream sites. Of course, since this is the OS Academy, I'm going to assume you wish to learn how to stream the game, and not something unrelated. So, to stream setup is pretty much like the media recording setup, but a few things will have to be changed. First, you will have to have an active Twitch account. You will also need to have your channel's stream key. You should be able to find that via your user dashboard in Twitch. The second thing is that you can only stream in HD if your internet has a high enough upload rate. Recall the encoding options. You will have to set some of those to something your internet can handle. Sadly, my internet isn't so great as of upload, so it can only handle about 500 kilobytes per second. And that would have to be at a lower resolution to even look decent. So once you have your stream key from Twitch, you'll need to place it in the stream key box. OBS will also let you know if your settings are too high or too low for Twitch. Once setup is complete, you'll be able to enjoy broadcasting to all your friends. And if you tag OSU as the game you're playing, you'll even show up on the live stream page on the website, allowing others to see you show off, or in my case, fail horribly. Well, that should just wrap up about everything you need to know about streaming and or capturing OSU via the OBS software. Be sure to check out other videos, and if there's something you'd like to see covered, give us a shout out in the comics. Feedback is always welcome, and remember, rhythm's only a click away.